A big night for the coach with the most state titles in Michigan history tonight in Farmington Hills. Justin Rose is here. Yeah, Brad, it's a name synonymous with high school football in these parts. John Harrington hired as the first head coach at Farmington Hills Harrison in 1970, and he will be the last head coach at that school as it's set to close after next season. He's got 13 state championships, sent countless players to college, and now his name will forever be remembered outside the field. He has done, done so much winning on. The Harrington Athletic Complex was revealed tonight at the Hawks' first home game of the season, and as time winds down on the Hawks football program, Harrington now taking time to appreciate all he's accomplished. It's very sad. It, uh, it, uh, it keeps me from sleeping almost every night, you know, thinking about it. I just can't imagine the place closing down, but that was the decision made, and we got to live with it. I was talking about my wife's memorial, which Drew Stanton uh, bought that was over there that put up for us, and then when I was thinking about not having Hawks here anymore, you know, and not having this having this be a recreation center or whatever they're going to do with it. So, so I got emotional then, but I'm I'm good now. <laughs> yeah, lots of reasons to be good. The game tonight, the Hawks are hosting Stony Creek. First half, an offensive show for Harrison. Roderick heard off tackle, 17 yards to the house. Stony Creek had trouble moving the ball on the Hawk defense all night, but Harrison did not have that issue. Ben Williams following with great Brock from right tackle Chris Rexroth. Took it to the house. Harrison moves to two and one on the season, 47 to eight. Rexy's got wow. moves, Brad. How about that? Harrington, four wins away from top, top and coach for Casa for the most in Michigan State history. Going to be great when he gets there. Justin, thanks so much.